Hey Sagittarius, welcome. This is your May 2023 reading. I want to thank you all for tuning back in and being here. Um, this is going to also include the Mercury in retrograde energy during this month. It does go direct on the 14th, but we still are in that Mercury in retrograde. We still have the lingering energy of the new moon that we closed out Aries season with the second new moon in Aries, which was rare. And we also are in the total solar eclipse energy and will be in that energy until 2025. We are approaching on the fifth, a lunar eclipse with a full moon. So there is just intense energy shifts all around us. We're gonna see what needs to come out for you. Um, always take what resonates and then always watch your rising moon and Venus sign readings for additional clarity. I do offer personal reading, Sagittarius, but my shop, my Etsy shop is on vacation mode right now as I do get caught up on personal readings. It should reopen by the middle of next week. I just want to finish up these readings, these personal readings, and then I want to reach out to the three people that do win the um, three free love readings for the month of April. For those of you that are new, I do monthly giveaways. And this month was three free love readings. You still have a couple days to take advantage of it. So go ahead and subscribe. You'll be able to take advantage of each giveaway by subscribing. And then with these couple days left of May, I'm sorry, of April, you can leave a flower emoji in the comment section of each reading that you do view of mine during the month of, um, you know, from now until the end of April. And I randomly choose three people for this month at the end of the month, which is this weekend coming up, and I will reach out to those three people, letting them know that they won the free reading. So this weekend, I'm going to remind everyone to check their notifications if they um, took part in the giveaway, okay? All right, and then May will be a brand new giveaway for my Sagittarius during the month of May. Most important messages that they need to hear. All right, so there is deceit. And I feel like there might have been deceit in the past. In the near past, it could have even been the far past, distant past. And But with this coming out in reverse, I feel like you're healing. You're breaking free from the, per, from the pain, from the hurt, from the memories. And I do feel that you are moving towards a happier energy for this month. Even if in the beginning couple weeks you feel like tired, irritable, sluggish, you know, it's just you're getting on your own nerves per se. Like I said, Mercury will go direct on the 14th and I do feel you're going to pull yourself right out of that energy. I do feel healing here for you. The solar, the total solar eclipse energy readings and Mercury and retrograde for your sign are already published, you know, so you just have to head over to my channel and look those up. And look, it's that wanted universe creators. A card of four. So it's like. It's like you're exactly where you need to be on your path. I feel for some of you, you could be a light worker. You could be a star seed. I do feel some of you might have gone through a spiritual awakening, a transformation. But this is you exactly where you need to be. And in a great energy. I really do feel a transformation here and I do feel you're taking a leap of faith towards something look it says three two one jump let's see what this leap of faith is towards there's going to be that lunar eclipse, lunar eclipse that I mentioned in the full moon I will be doing readings for that too so expectation I feel like somebody really let you down 
with it being a 28, there was something that, you know, you weren't expecting. And I feel that it really puts you in a hurt, a broken heart type of energy. And I feel because of that, some of you went through that awakening or that transformation. It was very triggering for you, a mature woman. Now, Scorpio got this. This could be with you, you know, this could be for some of you that are, are interested in someone older, you know, older than you per se. Doesn't have to be just feminine energy, could be also masculine energy. This might be somebody that you turn to for advice, a friend, um, your mom, your grandma. But there might be someone that you're leaning towards. I do feel someone is thinking about you, though. I feel like they know they hurt you. They're thinking about you. Let's see what comes up. bottom of the deck is the king of swords so you could have strong air in your chart and that would mean that you know what you want you might have needed to pull your emotions back from someone but this is like you know your worth um you're mentally grounded mentally stable these days you've been through some like i said some trying times um test of faith and it's like you're not going to compromise for anybody you want your life to be balanced. For those of you that have air in your chart, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. For those of you dealing with an air sign, they may have seemed emotionally unavailable. All right. Current situation is the hermit. Virgo energy. I feel like you're contemplating, you're thinking about things. You're searching your soul. You're probably wondering if you're where you need to be. Or when is everything going to fall in place for me? Or why did that not work out the way I had anticipated? Yes, yeah, see, there's sadness here. For those of you dealing with a Virgo, I feel like they're missing you. Past energy is Queen of Cups. So take it how it resonates. You might have water in your chart, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You may have air in your chart. Like I said, you, you may have Virgo, but it's the energy of being all in, of being very nurturing, very compassionate, having your heart open for a relationship, having the best intentions towards someone. Look at the future. You are moving forward. You're moving forward. You got past the hurt. You embraced it. You went through your transformation. You went through your awakening. And I, I just feel you're being noticed with this. You're being noticed as very strong. And like I said, as moving forward to succeed. You're letting go of this five of coins energy. Feeling on the outside looking in. With 5-5 five, five here, there's definitely change coming in the month of May. But you're letting go of feeling that alone. And you are embracing the Nine of Wands. You know, it. life is a struggle at times. Relationships are a struggle. But you're not going to give up. And if you're dealing with a fire sign, well, we have, like I said, we have fire, air, and water. But if you're dealing with a fellow fire sign also, they may not be giving up. It's like you stood back up, you're going to be very persistent and you're very resilient. Yes, you're going to move a little bit slower because now you're a little bit guarded. But I feel by you moving on, it's like somebody wants to move towards you.
All right, let's see what else we get. Six of Swords is at the bottom. For some of you, you could be traveling. During the month of May. But I definitely feel like you're moving towards happier times. You're pulling yourself out of any sadness. Yeah, see, I feel like there's a distance between you and someone. It's like you're standing your ground. You might even be, be spending more time with yourself than actually out and, you know, with friends or family. I definitely feel that you're thinking about your future and you're really touching in with what your soul wants. Looking for that light at the end of the tunnel. There is, you know what I just got? I mean, look at these two cards. These two places look very dark. The Hermit and the Five of Coins. There is a feminine energy and a masculine energy. Whatever it is that you resonate with. And there is like a, a, almost a feeling of sadness. Of like two people who have been through some, some drama and some hurt. Trying to find their way out of this heartbreak. But as far as you go, Sagittarius, you are pulling yourself out of it. There is an offer of love coming your way. Definitely could be a Leo. We got six of wands here twice. But it's more the energy of you moving past, feeling stuck, moving past things that just don't feel right. And being in your best energy, you're taking back control of your life. Why is the Six of Wands here twice? I'm telling you, I, for those of you dealing with an air sign, this person wants a brand new beginning with you. They find you very attractive. They find you very confident. They find you very sexy. They appreciate the way you look. And they're coming towards you for a brand new beginning. Why the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Swords? Now, I mean, look at this. Alright, so the Five of Coins is here. This could be the energy of two people who were more focused on work. You know... We're more focused on goals that they wanted to reach. Stability for yourself individually. You know, with the five of pentacles there, somebody may have lost their job. They could have been living from paycheck to paycheck and taking care of their children and not really having the extra for a relationship. But I just feel two people who are totally missing one another feeling like they're in darkness and it's like reuniting with this person is going to feel like coming together and being like the perfect your perfect match the perfect couple and look at what's at the bottom of the deck as I say that the two of cups there's definitely a union here and like I said Sagittarius this person is really missing you just thunder my puppy's in the room and there's thunder but I don't think she realized it's thunder yet all right thunder hearing from this person could be something you're not expecting it could be like a tower moment like ripping into your life it definitely if there's been heartbreak you might think you went down two totally separate paths this person with Seven of Swords here might have told you they had more than they really did. They were more established than they really were. But I do feel they're coming in knowing they're worth. Yes, yeah, see the two of you are definitely missing one another. We have Virgo energy. Earth energy. Leo. 
Pisces, Sagittarius, which obviously is yours. You could be dealing with fellow Sagittarius. Aquarius, Libra. Yeah, wanting to come together and work together. Work it out. I'm telling you, the two of you are going to come together as two very strong individuals. Ready to push forward. Now, for those of you that it's brand new love, I do feel that you've been through some heartbreak, some hard times, people that just did you wrong, and you're moving forward with your life. You're going to come into a connection very soon where it, they just level up to the level to where you're at in terms of stability and finance. You're going to come in contact with someone who is can offer you just exactly what you can offer them. Anything else for Sagittarius? But I truly feel for the most it's two people completely missing one another. And finances could have played a role. But look at this. I love it. The universe and the world. There's a brand new beginning starting here. And then we have happening soon. This situation, I'm sorry, happening soon, the situation or event in question will develop or unfold very soon. Now at the bottom of the deck, we also have spring within one to three months. So like I said, there's Scorpio, there's Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Gemini, let's see, like I said, Libra. So go with what's in your chart, but I just feel like you're coming into contact with your match. There's definitely a union here. And I'm telling you, it has to be the month of May. The universe has been showing up a lot with the world. I just feel a lot of people are getting karma in their favor. For those of for those of you that put out that good karma are getting karma in their favor. And there's blessings coming to a lot of zodiac signs, a lot of people during the month of May. So by the end of May, it's like you're in a you're really great energy, feeling very happy and excited for, for new. All right, let's see what else we can get. There we go. We got bird flying. News is on the way. Pay attention to feathers. Finger. Warning, you have a problem either now or in the near future. I do you feel anything that you come across, you're going to be in a great energy to get through it. Bowl. Plenty of material things. See, things are looking only up and up for you, Sagittarius. And one last card and then we'll pull Scrabble tiles. Vase, secret admirer. See what I mean? I'm telling you, you're coming into union with your perfect match. I love it. We have O, W, U, H, Q, R, I. A, E, L, T, and K. All right, and one final message, an affirmation. Sagittarius, you can embrace these words now. And then really say it to your, right, two came out. And really repeat it to yourself during the month of May. Allow these blessings to come your way. Total solar eclipse, lunar eclipse, best time to manifest. Keeping your energy high and manifesting in all, everything you want, looking forward. I love life. 
It is my birthright to live fully and freely. I give to life exactly what I want life to give to me. I am glad to be alive. I love life. And then I open the door. I open new doors to life. See, I definitely feel a blessing. Something you're not expecting coming your way. I rejoice in what I have. And I know that fresh new experiences are always ahead. I greet the new with open arms. I trust life to be wonderful. And Sagittarius, it will be for you. I am sending you all so much love and light for the rest of the week. I will be back the weekend for the love readings. And then I will. the next session will be the lunar eclipse and the full moon energy. Um, always let me know how it resonates. Do take advantage. There's a couple days left. Leave the flower emoji let me, letting me know you're interested in the free three free love readings this month. Um, and go ahead and subscribe for those of you that are new. For those of you that are interested in a personal reading, you can click on the link to my Etsy shop. It's in the description box of each reading. Like I did say in the beginning, it is on vacation mode, but by heading over there, you can favorite the shop. And when I reopen, you'll get the notification that it's, um, that it's open and you can check it out. All right. I'm sending you all so much love and light.